Hi there, today I'm going to be walking you through how you can add add to calendar links within Marketo emails that contain unique join URLs for Zoom webinars. Before I dive in here, I just want to say that everything I'm going to cover today is covered in the Marketo Zoom integration calendar links post. And I'll put this link in the description of the YouTube video, so that's where you can find it. So you might be wondering, why would you want to use Marketo to send webinar communications when Zoom already has the ability to send confirmation and reminder emails? The reason for this is that within Marketo, your company will have branded email templates. And in order to stay consistent with your brand when you're communicating with customers, it's best to use these same Marketo email templates and send the webinar communications from within Marketo. And another thing to note is that whenever you sync a Marketo program to a webinar partner, whenever someone's program status changes within Marketo, it automatically gets updated in the webinar platform and vice versa. So whenever you mark someone here within the Marketo program as registered, that person will sync over to the webinar partner, in this case, Zoom. And Zoom will then send back certain information like the person's webinar URL and their registration code. And then on the other hand, on the other side of things, when the webinar is over, Zoom will send information back to Marketo about no shows and the people who actually attended the webinar. So you can use these to trigger automation in Marketo and to ensure that the people who attended get the correct email and the people who were no shows get a different email. So that's one of the great advantages of syncing your Marketo webinar to a webinar partner like Zoom is the syncing of these statuses from one platform to another. Okay, so now let's get into the meat of this video and show you how you can set up your ad calendar links for iCal, Google, and Yahoo. So the format each of these three links will take is here within the blog post. So you can copy these three URLs into your own Marketo email template. And in the next few moments of this video, I'll show you how you can find these variables that will be inserted within these URLs. So one quick thing to note is make sure you make your confirmation email operational so that people who have unsubscribed to your marketing emails will still receive their joining information for the webinar that they just registered for. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, since the Marketo program is synced to a Zoom webinar, whenever someone is marked as registered within Marketo, they'll sync to Zoom and Zoom will send back certain webinar member information. And one of the pieces of information that it sends back is this member.registration code. So this will automatically get populated within these three URLs whenever someone is put in the registered status. So that's easy to get. We don't need to worry about that. However, what takes some Sherlock Holmes style investigation is how we find this webinar ID value. And the first thing you'll need to do, even before we try to find out what this value is, is create a local program token to store this webinar ID. So here, if I go to the local tokens within this webinar, I can see the my webinar ID local token here. And within the blog post, I've linked to this Marketo documentation that will show you how to create a local program token. And as we can see here, this is a text token. So just bear that in mind when you're setting it up following this guide. So once you've created your local program token, the next step is how do we find out what this value is? So we're going to go to the Marketo program here. And we're going to click on this event number. And the handy thing about clicking this is it brings us straight to the Zoom webinar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on email settings. An important thing to note, as you'll see here, is that I've got no confirmation or reminder emails being sent from Zoom. And the reason for this is because since we're sending confirmation and reminder emails from Marketo, we don't want to be double sending to people and sending to them from Zoom as well. So that's why these are all set to no here. However, for this testing, I actually want to receive a confirmation email from Zoom so I can find the webinar ID. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say I'm going to select send confirmation email to registrants. And then I'm just going to go save. 
grand, and then I'm going to go to invitations. And then I'm going to copy this registration link. I'm going to go to a new tab, paste that in. I'm just going to fill out this information quickly. Register. So now I'm going to go to that email address that I just registered for. It might take a minute for this to come through, so I'll pause the video until that comes. Okay, so this confirmation email has come through to my inbox now. And what we can see is if we copy each of these links, paste that here. Uh, I've got too many tabs open. I'm going to copy this one, paste it here, and copy this one, and paste it here. So if we look at each of these three links, the thing we'll notice that this structure for each of them, so we'll see this ends in type equals Yahoo, type equals Google, type equals iCal. If we go back to the blog post, we'll notice that each of these three URLs that I just pasted in here has the exact same format as these three links that are included in the blog post. And here we'll notice that <clears throat> this user ID equals, that's the member.registration code. So that's this value here, user ID equals member.registration code. And this will automatically get populated for each person once they're in the register status in Marketo, so we don't need to worry about that. However, the whole reason we did this test was to find out what this webinar ID value was. And we can see that the webinar ID value here is this value, and it's the exact same in all three of these links. So we're just going to copy this value. And we're going to go back to our Marketo program. We're going to go to My Tokens. And then all we're going to do here is double click in here and then just paste in that value. So now that we have this value in here, whenever an email gets sent, it'll populate each of these three links with this local program token. And then this will automatically be pulled in from the person. And just to make this match a bit more clear, I've got them side by side here where this is an actual value that I've taken from one of these real links put it in here so we can compare side by side that this member webinar ID is here and this member registration code is here. I just put them side by side for easy comparison. So now that we have this populated, the important thing to do is go back into Zoom and turn off those webinar confirmation emails because you don't want to be double sending to people. So just come back in here, go to email settings, edit, and turn this off so we don't want to be double sending. Great, so now we know how to find this webinar ID local program token value. I'll just show you quickly what it looks like when we click into these add calendar links. So here we click in, we can see it's, we've got the local program token here for the webinar ID, and then we've got the member.registration code, and then it's equals and type equals iCalendar. The Google, the Google one is very similar format, except the ending is and type equals Google. And then finally, the Yahoo one, very similar again, and type equals Yahoo. So all you have to do is go to this blog post, copy in these three values. This is taken care of for us once a person is registered. Then you just have to do that bit of Sherlock Holmes work to find out what the webinar ID value is. And it's worth noting that this webinar ID value here, I'll zoom in for you guys, because I probably, I guess that it's very hard for you to actually see what these values were since I was so far zoomed out, but hopefully you got what I was saying and you can always read the blog post uh, to understand things better. But you'll notice that this webinar ID value here, it's a series of characters and it does not match this value here. So don't get confused. This event number here is not the webinar ID value that you need to use here. So I just want to make that clear for you guys. 
So now that we've added our ad calendar links within our email, one other thing I want to share with you guys is how you can use the member.webinar URL token. So I have a whole blog post dedicated to this. So if you want to see what this token is, how you can use it within Marketo emails, and how you can test it, and maybe the most common reason why it's not working for you, then check out this blog post. But the main idea behind it is, this blog will show you how you can use the member.webinar URL token within emails to direct people towards your Zoom webinar. So here we can use the member.webinar URL token. So when someone clicks that link, it'll lead them to sign into the Zoom webinar that you're hosting. And you can also use it within CTAs. So here again, we've got the member.webinar URL token. So when someone clicks this button, it'll lead them to sign into your Zoom webinar. So as I mentioned, all of that is covered within this blog post here. So check that out later on. Then the final part of this blog and this video is going into how you can test these ad calendar links. So what I'm going to do here is the normal flow is you'll probably have a form on your landing page. You'll fill out that form and then you'll get sent an email to your inbox. So you can do that exact same flow yourself, fill out the form manually, make sure you get the email to your inbox and then click the add calendar links within that email. I'm gonna skip the part about filling out the form. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go test email. And the email I'm gonna to send to myself is this webinar confirmation. A webinar confirmation. And I'm gonna go run once, run now. So I'll give this a few seconds in order for this to reach my inbox over here. So hang on a second. Okay, so now the webinar confirmation email has reached my inbox. I'm gonna test each of these three calendar links out. So since I'm already in a Google workspace, I'm gonna test this one out first since it's the easiest. What you want to check when you click this is that the date and time of the webinar are correct, the name is correct. And then I'm gonna click save here and then I know this is on, on the 26th of October. So I'll click on here. And now we can test that the unique join URL works correctly. So it prompts me to open my Zoom application. It's looking promising. And then here we can see that it's scheduled to start on the 26th of the 10th. The start is 10 a.m. and the name of the webinar is correct. So I'm gonna leave the webinar here. We've tested this one out. I'm just gonna delete this from my calendar. The other one we can do is this is an iCal link. So it's going to download it to our PC. And then in order to test this in Gmail, we're going to import an event. So the way we do that is go here, settings. We want to go to import and export, left-hand side, select a file from my computer. This is the one we just downloaded from the email. And then I'm going to go import. Okay, so now if we go back and we check here, so you'll remember from before I deleted, so we added it to my, we added the event to my calendar using this Google Calendar link, but then you'll remember that I deleted it. So this time, this one was created from the iCal event. And once again, check that the date and time is correct. Click the join URL. And then you can open and then it should bring up the exact same message as before date and time of the webinar so that's how you can test that the iCal works correctly and that the add google calendar works correctly i don't have a yahoo calendar or a yahoo email address so i'm not going to test this one out but you can rest assured that it'll work or you can test it out using your own yahoo calendar let's do a quick recap of what we've covered in this video so I showed you the structure that your three URLs will need to have in order to have an ad calendar event for iCal, Google, and Yahoo. And then I showed you how to create the local program token to store the webinar ID. And then I showed you the Sherlock Holmes style investigation that's needed in order to find out what this value is, and then to put that into the local program token. And then I showed you what it looks like when you incorporate these three URLs inside your email. And once you've completed this and you've tested that these ad calendar links work, one thing I recommend doing in order to upgrade 
your webinars to the next level is to incorporate SMS notifications into your webinars. So when someone fills out the registration form, send them a quick SMS to say, hey, we got your information. We look forward to seeing you at the webinar. And then 10 minutes or an hour ahead of the webinar, send them another SMS to say, hey, uh, the webinar is starting in an hour or 10 minutes. We look forward to seeing you then. So if you want to look into how you can set up SMS notifications for your webinars at a really cheap cost, take a look at these four blog posts here that walk you through it step by step. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.